Hey everyone, Missy here and joined with Grant. How you and doing? And <laughs> we're going to talk about some of the best places to have a picnic in Chattanooga because I don't know about you, but I love picnics. Oh yeah, I love. You picnics. know, food, being outdoors, it's just a really fun time to have, you know, a great experience with friends or even family. Um, and especially now when the weather is just, yeah. it's so nice. You know, there's like some hint of, there's hint of fall in the air right now. Oh yeah, I feel it right now. You feel it, yeah, yeah. I feel it even with a tank top on. So it feels really nice. So there's really no excuse why we shouldn't be outdoors. Mm -hmm. And especially in Chattanooga, there is an array of beautiful sights and so much to do outdoors. So that's one of my favorite things about Chattanooga. So let's talk about some of the best places to have some picnics. So again, cool. These are just some of our favorite. These are not just saying these are the best places, <laughs> but they're ones that we've talked about and yeah. ones that parks that we enjoy going to. So number one is gonna be Coolidge Park. And if you've been downtown Chattanooga, especially towards the end of the North Shore, you have definitely seen Coolidge Park because it is huge. There's always something going on. Actually, I was walking along the bridge last night and I looked down to Coolidge Park and there was an ultimate Frisbee game going on. Oh, cool. So there's always something going on at Coolidge Park. It's really cool. There's actually a carousel down there. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure if that's open right now, just considering COVID and everything going on, yeah. but um, that's down there. And it's just a really great way to um, enjoy the view of the river. And then of course have a wonderful picnic. And I think that one, may, my, one of my favorite things is because the location of it, like I mentioned, it's just right downtown where the North Shore area is. So you're also in walking distance from the park to some really great restaurants. Um, you can pick up some food to take down to Coolidge Park and enjoy the picnic. And then even Clumpy's is right down there. So you can have some ice cream. Um, so it's a really great way just to have some fun, of course, in the outdoors. So let's talk about Renaissance Park, which is actually pretty much right next to Coolidge Park. It, it can actually be reached by Coolidge Park. So you don't have to go far to enjoy this 23 acre park. Um, again, it's Renaissance Park. And this is a really great park because it celebrates the rich history of Chattanooga. So there's a lot of native plants and animals in the area. Um, so it's just a really great way to really connect with nature, mm -hmm. um, have some unenjoyable picnic. You can also see there's a, a path where there's a lot of joggers and walkers, people walking their dogs. So it's always even better to see a dog when you're having a picnic. That's like one of my highlights of having a picnic. So definitely a lot of great things to enjoy. Um, as I mentioned, it does celebrate the rich culture of Chattanooga. So there's some like sculptures just highlighting just the diversity in the area. So it's really nice. So definitely want to check out I think two of my favorite, Coolidge Park and Renaissance Park. So um, again, links will be um, in the comments below um, so you can learn more of how to get to these locations. But definitely want to go check out those if you are looking to do a picnic um, anytime this season with the gorgeous weather. So yeah. what do you have for us, Grant? Awesome. And I don't mean to uh, compete with your suggestions or to say that yours aren't any good, but I have That's a couple fine. of uh, unorthodox suggestions in that maybe they don't have grassy fields or things you would think of uh, at a park or a typical park, like picnic tables and fountains. Uh, I'm going to talk about Ross Landing, or oh, Ross's Landing, one. excuse me. That is the steps, the concrete steps right behind the aquarium downtown. That's so there's parking all over the place. There's uh, restaurants all over the place. So you can either grab food to go or bring your own, of course. Uh, but I see people down there all the time. And I just think that'd be a great spot to just sit on the steps. You can dangle mm -hmm. your feet in the water or over the water of the Tennessee River down there. And it's just a really cool spot. You can watch uh, the paddle boaters going by, the, uh, the, the river cruises go, mm -hmm. go down the river there. And you, so it's a great place for for people watching and just a unique spot to have a to have a bite. I love so, people watching mm -hmm. and so that is a good location. I yep. have to agree with that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're welcome. So and another suggestion, kind of the same thing or in the same area, it's the Walnut Street Bridge. It's the large mm -hmm. pedestrian bridge. It used to be, uh, I think it was a, was it a train trestle or? Yes. Uh, Okay, yeah, back in the day, but now it's a pedestrian bridge that stretches the uh, Tennessee River downtown. It goes all the way over to the North Shore uh, on Fraser Street, but there are benches all along the bridge uh, facing out towards the water. So you can grab a meal and and just kind of sit on a bench. And if, if you got if you want to make it like a romantic uh, outing with your with your loved one and uh, just grab a bench and watch the water, watch the boats go by, the paddle boarders again. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just fun for for people watching. And if you love nature and the river, you know, uh, so, that yeah. is a good one, especially like when the sun's going down, so you can definitely mm -hmm. check out oh, yeah. the sunset and then the lights along the bridge. So it Perfect. just really provides like a really nice atmosphere. So yeah. the best things about these parks that obviously we mentioned or bridges that we mentioned some great <laughs> places, I mean, it's great for the daytime or even towards the evening. So mm -hmm. there's really like no time, uh, no perfect time to go. Anytime you decide to have a picnic here in Chattanooga, you're going to find a really great spot. So mm -hmm. again, definitely check out these out. There's also 
plenty other parks here in Chattanooga um, that you can have some picnics. I know that a lot of guests here at Ruby Falls have picnics. We see it all the time, yeah, either absolutely. before or after their tour and they're about to get on the road again. Um, I know I talked about this in a vintage moment, so if hmm. you haven't seen that vintage moment, I'm just gonna talk about it real quick. But um, when the tours first opened here at uh, Ruby Falls, um, they were all day experiences. So mm -hmm. those guests actually did bring pack lunches and had picnics right up here on the lawn of Ruby Falls. So it's a really great way just to um, appreciate you know, all the scenery and stuff in Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. So definitely want to check out those parks and we hope that you have a picnic sometime in your future. Yeah.